So the Miami Hurricanes now have seven total players that have entered the transfer portal during the spring window. What's going on, Canes fans? Hitting you with a little late night transfer portal update video. I would have did it a little bit sooner, but we just finished up a three-hour live stream talking about where fans draw the line. And I mean when it comes to bringing players to the team that have previously been committed or played on the team and then went somewhere else and then ended up back in the transfer portal. So we discussed... At what point has the bridge been burned? So if you enjoy having conversations like that, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We hang out every single Friday night right now, and eventually we're going to bring back the Saturday night streams as well. So just double check, make sure you're subbed. I think we have a lot of fun in those. But for this video, the lights behind me have been changed to green. So you, well, you already know at this point, it's a transfer portal update video. So Safety slash linebacker Caleb Spencer has officially entered the transfer portal. Now, Spencer just signed with Miami in the 2023 class, so he's only been with the Canes for one season. But his stats aren't out of this world, which is to be expected from a freshman. So this is no shot or shade at Spencer. But he ended up totaling one tackle for the Canes, and it was in the Florida State game. He saw most of his play on special teams. So again, as I said in the intro, that puts the player count at seven that have officially entered during the spring window. So that's now going to be Henry Parrish. Sagapolu, Kelly, Bangora, who is a senior cornerback but mostly played on the practice squad, Citizen, Brown, and now Caleb Spencer. So once again, I don't want anyone to take it as a personal shot when I don't spend a ton of extra time on a specific player. It's just this scenario, it's one player, so there's not two or three to talk about, and there's not a ton of stats to talk about here with Spencer. Uh, he's roughly six foot two, two 200 pounds. He was a three-star coming in out of high school. And he actually came from the state of Virginia, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, I thought Spencer maybe had some potential, someone who could be developed long-term. But we do have some guys in that room, again, that are looking extra special. You know, some of the guys like Patterson and some others. So it's just one of those scenarios where he's going to look for somewhere that he possibly sees the field a little more often. And I think it's a smart move. I'm just being honest because he's getting ahead of it now. So instead of staying at Miami and riding the pine for two or three seasons and then being in panic mode and trying to hit the portal and finding a team, he's fresh. I know he doesn't have a lot of tape to show other teams, but he's going ahead and jumping in there now, hopefully finding a new home where he can go play and be successful. The one last thing I did want to talk about in this short update video is a lot of people are asking where are all of the departures? Everyone was saying there's going to be 8 to 12 players leaving and this thing's going to get crazy. If you really think about it, Miami is at 7 currently. So that's not too far off from all these predictions of somewhere between 8 to 12. There are still some others that I believe will hit the portal, and you've probably heard other content creators talk about it as well. I don't know what the holdup is. I don't know if they're just kind of weighing their options. I don't know if, if they're taking a wait-and-see approach because they're not being pushed out, but they're, they're kind of wanting to think about it. I don't really know yet, but it's still expected that there's going to be at least a few more players hit the portal because Miami is shopping right now. There are several players that they're interested in. You have saw the, the stuff surrounding Martinez, the running back from Oregon State. They're obviously interested because they did an in-home visit, and he's doing his official visit to Miami. Uh, you saw Cam Ward throwing to Sam Brown in some clips online, which is going to be the wide receiver from Houston who played under Dawson in his first season. Now, there's not been anything official come out for Sam Brown but it could be a thing because we've said Miami might look for another wide receiver. It's very possible. And it's cool to see guys like Cam Ward, even if nothing happens with this Sam Brown stuff, 
it's still really cool to see Cam Ward stepping up and recruiting other players. Everyone always loves it when players recruit. It's super helpful, and it's it's really cool to see. And he's been very vocal on saying that he wants Martinez as a cane. I've seen lots of videos floating around of Cam Ward saying, hey, I want Martinez back there behind me. I want to be handing off the ball to that dude. And I think that's that's huge. You know, that's awesome to see. So him kind of throwing to Sam Brown in and of itself doesn't necessarily mean anything. But you know they're talking a little bit. Like, let's be real. You know they're talking a little bit. And the dude is in the portal. I know there's possibly some interest with the uh, the uh, wide receiver transfer out of Georgia. I think his name was Tyler. But I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see. This, th- this is just a super short update video letting you know that Caleb Spencer hit the portal. The spring total is up to seven. And I'll keep you guys up to date with each and every player. Normally, I do them in batches, but I'm just doing one for this one because I don't know how long some of these other guys are going to take, or maybe they've changed their mind. But we're going to have to see with Miami, you know, trying to make some more room. And then I know there's a couple more guys they want to bring in, so there's going to have to be some more departures. But I don't know how long that's going to take. We'll see. So, hey, let's chop it up about something down in the comment section below. What do you think about Brown, Sam Brown? Do you think Miami should pursue that guy, the other wide receiver? Or give me some names of some other players that you think Miami should be looking at that you're not hearing them talk about that you believe could come in and and make an impact and you think Miami should look at those guys. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.